So yeah, we can go back kind of where we left or, or did we leave off about like how how it's good how you do good with the girls because you're right. Female and it's well. like nowadays the the dancers themselves they actually appreciate me because you know I'm not trying to pimp on them. I'm not trying to fuck on them. I'm just you know I'm like the woman's advocate type of DJ. Like I can be hood, take care of business, and at the same time still protect the women because you know like. My girlfriend's a dancer, so I'm not finna let anybody just stick their finger in their ass for two dollars, and I'm not gonna let that happen to anybody because I feel like the dancers are a reflection of me. You know what I'm saying? So the dancers feel way more comfortable when they dance with me because they they know I'm gonna make sure they make money. They, they have to do minimum to make maximum. That's my whole thing. You know what I mean? I don't let dudes take advantage of them. You know, like if I see something crazy going on, I'm all you know. I'm gonna check. I, I'll really check a dude real quick behind one of my dancers, you know. But the simple fact is that a lot of time women, you know, they just get, you know, they a lot of people think, okay, these just some funky ass strippers, we just gonna do what we wanna do to them. And these are women who have kids, they have dreams, you know, they, they're just as valid as me. So I don't look down on them because I feel like we're in the same boat. We're all trying to get some money to get about the situation we're in. You know what I'm saying? So that's why, you know, I like my job. I love my job. You know, I'm actually one of the one of the few DJs that actually sit and talk to my dancers and encourage them and try to get them to pray or read the Bible, do something. You know what I mean? I try to incorporate I even try to incorporate religion and God into the stuff that I do. You know what I mean? I want them to not be afraid to pray before they come to work or pray that things are gonna get better. You know what I'm saying? I pray we get some money tonight, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I try to bring everything that I know is right into the strip game to replace all the stuff men have created that's really wrong. You know what I'm saying? Just like hoeing the girls and just, you know, just mistreating them. You know, and back in the day strippers were like trash to people, but these are the people who are entertaining y'all husbands when y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they're golden to me. You know what I mean? So yeah. Dancers, they they've learned to to love me, you know what I mean. And even the dancers have fought for me to 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 work at certain clubs, and you know, it just never happened for whatever reason, you know. And I've seen DJs switch clubs, so you can't really say like, oh well, it's hard to get a DJ job in the strip club. It's not hard for a man, yeah. but for me, it's it's hard. You say it's dominated by men? Yeah, so you say like the whole DJ scene as a yeah. whole or just like the strip club DJ? I think the strip club scene right now is dominated by men because the, the regular DJ scene, is, we starting to have more female DJs. There are a lot of female DJs, don't get me wrong, but they're feminine. And then the stud DJs that we have, you know, they just like me, stuck at a coffee house or DJing small gigs, you know. Only mainstream stud DJ I can think of off the hand is like DJ Mary Mack and she's in New York and even her she had to she did a lot of work you know and they I still don't see her name just buzzing you know but she's one of the big you know like big big stud you know DJ she does mixtape she does house music I've seen her DJ one time at King of Diamonds you know she travels the world you know but it's just she still nobody has the radar on her the camera on her because they gotta figure out how to sell, you know, her. It's like nowadays people are using gay people as spectacles. Like, you know, like even on the reality TV show, they're gonna always, now they're starting to try to put that one gay person on there, but it's always like in a spectacle kind of way. Like, yeah. they're not playing a major role. It's always either messy or fighting or comical. You know, they don't let them just be normal and live out on the TV screen, you know what I mean, type of stuff, so. Yeah, like almost feeding into that stereotype. Yeah, it's, it's always a, some type of stereotype. Like, even on Love and Hip Hop, now every season has that one gay person or that one, you know what I mean, to where they're not really exposing the true lifestyle of being gay or being LGBT or whatever. It's just, you just there. You're just another number. You know, it's like being the token black person. Now it's the gay thing, you know what I mean? So right. it's just like, yeah. There's a lot of odds you have to go through to try to just get to where you're going. Yeah, because I'm sure, I mean, after just watching you play, I'm sure once you locked out of the club, they call you back all the time, right? Is, it, is that usually how it is? Yeah, they call me, but a lot of the clubs I work for, they underpay me. Yeah. But I can't, what can I do? I can't complain. It's the only people fucking with me, so it's like bittersweet. Yeah. It's like, okay, finally got a DJ job, but okay, I'm only getting 100 bucks. <laughs> Whereas normal DJs are getting three fifty a gig, two fifty a gig, three fifty ten percent of the door. Right. You know they getting flyers, everything printed. You know, and it's like I'm not getting that same amount. I'm doing a lot of work. Cause I do graphics. I do 
you know, any club I'm working, I'm doing the graphics for the club, I'm, I'm DJing, I'm bringing people, I'm hosting, and it's just $75 at the end of the night, 100 bucks at the end of the night, you know what I mean? It's, it's the night you saw me DJ, it was only $100 pay. And you think they just do that because they just think, like, they're giving me a favor? Yeah, a lot really of them. Like, like, a lot of them. When a person knows you need them, they that's how they that's how a lot of people treat you. It's yeah. rare. It's like they make me want to cry because a motherfucker know how passionate I am about my job, right. and I'm gonna do it. I don't know how to not give a hundred percent. Like I've been places knowing I'm only gonna get fifty dollars at the end of the night, you know. And like believe it or not, all all like even some of the dancers do the same shit. You know what I mean? Because it's like it's just a dog eat dog world. Everybody's just in it to get. The money they can get and then leave. Like all the money you saw flying, I think I literally walked out there with about three hundred dollars. Like some girls, dancers who had two thousand dollar stage said they were giving me like thirty dollar tip out. Yeah. You know, so and that's not even the right amount. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, just be happy you got that. Yeah. You know how much cash you think went through there that night? Uh, about ten thousand. Yeah. I did ten thousand at once and. But if they go to other clubs with the male DJs, they'll get him a hundred dollars. Yeah. Cause they 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 have no choice. I and I almost guarantee you got most of those people that night. Yeah. Out. Yeah. Was, and yeah. Like, like, you're like I'm I'm literally doing the work, getting them the tip, but some of them don't see it that way. They think it's them. Yeah. You know, but they don't respect the game. You know. But then I do have my certain group of dancers that, you know, when they come, they know. They, they appreciate me. They know how much I'm doing for them. So they're going to tip me $100 at the end of the night, 200 Give me 10% or whatever they made. You know what I mean? But I'm just not like those men in the strip club that's like, oh, you got to give me this. You got to. You know, I don't know how to be that way. You know what I mean? Maybe I should. But then the club might be like, oh, well, you, you chasing the dancers for money. You know, that's not what it's about. You know what I mean? A tip is a tip to ensure a proper service. So it's, it's, it's no stipulations on the tip. But I've seen dancers come dance with me. And don't want to give me a tip because I'm a girl. Even though I've done my job, I made them money, and they'll go to another club with the men, the male DJs, give them hundred dollars, hundred fifty. So, yeah. You're getting the discrimination from men and women in the whole industry. Yeah, all of them. They all. They all it's, 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 yeah. It's, and I and, and I do my job because when I go to work, I feel some kind of way if I don't make somebody money. So and then the only way I make money is if I make you money. Right. But they just still don't, they just still feel like, oh, she a girl, fuck it, we'll give her whatever she get, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because a lot of them, some of them feel some kind of way about the gay shit, some, some of them feel some kind of way, because, you know, I've had men come up to me as they getting the ones, and they, they looking, trying to figure out my girl or boy, some of them in that club still don't know if I'm a girl or boy. <laughs> some of them are only rocking because they think I'm a boy, yeah. and if they were to find out I was a girl, it would it would change a lot of things for them, like literally. I've had customers that figured out I was a girl, and then some of them will either be super nice or be super mean, cause now they feel like, oh shit, you try to trick me. Like, you know, it's, it's like crazy. How do you trick yeah, how do you, you know, like, oh, it was cool when you listened to music when you thought I was a boy, but now that you know I'm a girl, and I'm and I'm rocking out, it makes you feel some kind of way. Like, how could I be throwing all this money and this girl made me throw all this money? You know, so yeah, that, that's always funny when they don't know. A lot of them don't know, and sometimes I'll make a joke like, "Damn, I should have danced tonight," and they'll kind of look back like, "Oh, I'm like that was gay." He don't know why he said that. <laughs> 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 yeah. What would you? What advice would you have for like women that are in your shoes right now, like a younger version of you that haven't quite done um, all that so far? Don't give up, even when the world turns their back on you. Like my family, they 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 don't like my mom. She just she just wants me to be stable, and she knows that I'm out here wrestling in these streets with these jobs and and oh, sorry. My mom wants me to be stable, and she knows I'm out here wrestling in these streets with these jobs and these men and in this very dangerous lifestyle I'm in, to where you know people could feel some kind of way and hurt me, you know, because of what I stand or what they feel I stand for. You know what I mean? And I just say, don't give up, because I'm not going to give up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep going till, till I'm on somebody's TV screen doing something positive. And even, and, you know, and that's, and I've been taking a lot of time to think, like, Maker, when you finally do become popular, what are you going to do with your power? 
Because a lot of people could solve these type of issues. Like a lot of people who are LGBT and, and have made it. Like, you know, like Ellen. Ellen, you can reach out and get some whatever DJs or, you know. It's just that I, I think when I when I do finally have a little bit of power that I would turn around and kind of help others and try to employ others that are trying to make it just like me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Gay, straight. Even if they got one on, you know, in the wrong color, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Just as long as they can perform and and do what they need to do. But my basic thing is just don't give up. Just keep going. I'm not gonna stop. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Even if I gotta just trap, you know, my, my my dream is always to be in these little hood clubs and somebody walk in and just be like, okay, you, we need you. You know, that's how I thought it was gonna always happen. So, you know what I mean? I'm just keep keep trying. Yeah. That's all I can do. Oh yeah. So like goal wise, what what would you like to see yourself doing like in the next like goal wise, and, like everything planned out for two thousand nineteen. Goal wise, I want to be able to finally DJ across the world, across cities and different states, learn new music, get out there. You know, not just it's my main goal is not just like be on TV, but I want to actually travel and and learn other cultures and and be you know, be a celebrated DJ, just like they celebrate DJ Khaled, you know, I want to produce things, I want to host parties, I want to just be a real popping DJ, you know what I'm saying, no matter where I'm at, I just want to be a celebrated DJ to where they, the club is promoting me, you know, my event is big, and everybody's turning up and having fun, mm -hmm. period, you know, and then I'll turn around and do the same for somebody else trying to get to where I'm at, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I really believe in turning around and helping the next person. You know, that's how you keep the positive energy just flowing to me. Sure. You. Anything else? Yeah. <coughs> Sick. <No. laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think mean, that's this is really great.